I knew it was coming, guys. I knew it was going to happen. I knew, uh, I knew uh, another heartbreak was about to take place. Um, not going to lie to you, I didn't get to watch the whole game. I was, me and my family went out, and we were we were having a good time. And I was uh, I was definitely on my phone most of the time checking checking the score, checking the updates of the game. And I saw at one point it was 20-7, to 7, and I mean... I was I was excited. I was like, yeah, got the win. But in the back of my mind, I was like, all right, reality check. We are the Tennessee Titans. We are going to do something to screw this up. And I get home about halfway through the third quarter, and lo and behold, we lose this game 27 to 23. Uh, don't know any stats. Don't know anything. Um, I, I can't tell you any of the stats right now, but I just know that as a Titans fan throughout the season, this game does not surprise me one bit. Um, this is just how we've been playing. It's a tale of two halves. We come out and dominate in the first half. We're up 27 at halftime. And then the, the Colts outscores 20-3 to in the second half. And that's why we ultimately lose this game. Didn't turn the ball over in the first half. Turned the ball over in the second half. That's why we, that's why we lost. That's why the second half was terrible compared to the first half. Uh, I have no... Absolutely no clue what Jake Locker thought he had going with that pick six. I mean, I don't even know if he could see the receiver, much less the defender. Don't know why he threw that ball, but that pretty much is what sealed the deal. I mean, they come out and have the long drive. The long card scored that touchdown, and then a nice punt by their punter. Neil takes us down the one-yard line. That's why we get the pick six, three R pick six. And, I mean, and from then on out, we just we couldn't get much going, um, but yeah, the um, we lose to the Colts 27-23. What are we now? Four nine. I think the Colts are nine and four. Uh, yeah, Colts are nine and four. We are four nine. Uh, we couldn't run the ball this game, but in the first half, Jake Locker was doing like the Jake Locker that I actually know. I think at one point he was like fifteen of twenty, uh, almost two hundred yards and playing outstanding football, and then comes out the second half, turns the ball over, we lose, and uh, we just, I mean, we've, we're such a young team, we're one of the youngest teams in the NFL, and we see flashes of greatness at times as a team, but until we have a core defense that is really well, and maybe it might take another coaching staff, I'm not saying anything right now, but it might take another coaching staff to actually mold this defense together into a defense that actually can help us compete for championships, because right now, we're we're not a good team. We're not a good defense. We're not necessarily a good offense. But we have flashy players, and they can be flashy at times. But if you're not flashy all the time, you're not going to win strictly on that flashiness, if that makes any sense. But let me take a look at the stats. Uh, yeah, Jake Lockett threw for 259 yards. Um, he, uh, let's see. I know he didn't run the ball well. Uh, Chris Johnson was 19-44. But, I mean, you can't solely blame the loss on him. I mean, he was having a bad game. At one point, he was like 11, 12, 11 carries, 20-something yards, and we were up 20-7. to 7. So you cannot blame this game on him at all. He's been playing very, very good football as of late. Ever since the first few games of the season, he's been playing very, very, very good football. And you're not going to play very good football every single game. So nothing on this loss goes to Chris Johnson. Uh, the loss goes on Jake Locker and his inability to regroup after turning the ball over. And which is the ultimate factor in us losing the game. Andrew Luck has his 800 fourth quarter comeback. I really think it's like a sixth. And he beats us for the second time. The second time in the row, the Colts have to come back and beat us late in the game. Uh, last time it took overtime, but we've had so many bullcrap losses this year. I mean, if a few things go our way earlier on, earlier on in the season and in a game like this, we could be a playoff team, but we always, last few years, there's always some bullcrap happens, and we lose stupid games, and it's just is stupid. It's just stupid. We just, we, I don't know what it is we need, but we need something new, because as a fan, I, can, I don't know how much longer I can, I can take stuff like this until I'm going to have to be crying out for a new coaching staff, because it's just kind of ridiculous. Um, we had Andrew Luck ended up 16 to 34, 196 yards, touchdown of two picks. Uh, man, there's nothing else to say. Kenny Britt had a big game. I'm not sure how many yards he ended up with. Um, ended up with eight receptions, 143 yards. Um, 
Yeah. But anyways, guys, we lose to the Colts. Terrible loss, 27-23. But it is what it is, and we just got to keep moving on to the next. I think the ne our next week's game is against the Jets on Monday Night Football, and hopefully it won't screw up on Monday Night Football. But we we never know as as the as a Titan, we don't know what's going to happen, even against the Jets. But hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comments below. Have a great day, and as always, roll time, go Sox, and go Titans to you. I'll see you guys later.